Hello, here we are with an unboxing and hands-on with an official cat accessory for the cat range of smartphones. It's their vehicle mount. So packaged up here in official retail packaging, we can see it holds the device in place. We've got the control uh, to move it and the big tick here means that it's an approved cat accessory as we can tell by the official packaging that we have here. So if we open it up, we can show you what we get. So the kit is made up of two parts. The first part is the device holder itself here. So you have probably seen something like this before. This is a cat branded one. It's a universal holder. So if I press this button here, the two arms simply move out and you'll see that we've got little teeth. I don't know if you can, how well you can see that, the little teeth, and they click into a mechanism inside and each tooth is a locking position that uh, can hold the device in place. I press this button to release it. We've got nice thick bits of foam that these uh, act as padding between the device and the clamp arms. On the back here, we've got uh, a single sort of lug, if you like, for actually connecting to the arm for the vehicle holder. We've got a few screws where the construction's here. You can see the uh, teeth perhaps a little bit easier here. And then if we come back round to the front, on the bottom, we've got these little feet that can be rotated 90 degrees. Well, actually, they can be rotated a whole 360 if you want, but uh, why you would, I don't know. Uh, but these basically hold the phone in place. You don't necessarily have to use them, uh, but they are quite helpful. So you can pop these up like that. Let's bring in a cat phone here. So we've got the Cat S50. So if I put that in place, you can see the little feet are actually holding the phone there to stop it sliding down. And then I can move the arms in and lock that in place. Now there's quite a lot of um, length on the arms. There's quite a lot of width. So you can put a device much bigger than the S50 actually in this. You don't have to use cat phones even. It's just it's cat branded to go along with their range of phones. Now that's quite securely in there. I'm giving that a good shake and it doesn't feel like it's moving at all. That's because it's held in by this locking mechanism and the foam on the side. So with the phone in the holder, we can take a look at the arm itself. So here is the arm. Now, first impressions are very good. It looks like there's a lot of options in terms of the scope of control that we have here. So naturally, we've got the cap branding on the top here. We've got a suction cup here. Uh, and this will suck normally to uh, sort of a piece of glass on your windscreen. Uh, some dashboards will accept it or smooth desktops uh, are also an option. We've got a big sort of button here. That's for actually locking the suction cup in place. And when you press it down and it's clicked into place, you'll actually hear the sound of this clicking and then you press it to release. So if you just watch that as I press down, you hear that click. That's it locking in place. So I haven't suckered it to the uh, desktop here, but that would uh, be what happens when you mount it on something. So imagine that's securely in place uh, on the windscreen or wherever you're mounting it. You've then got these screws that you can loosen and you can articulate the joint, basically 180 degrees here, which is useful. And then you've got the same again on the top portion of the mount. So you can see we can kind of manipulate that. We can screw it back in place to lock it in position. And then finally at the top, we've got this ball joint, which we can loosen by unscrewing this. And then we can move this around like so. Now it's nice and stiff, which is important because we don't want uh, lots of vibration or it being too loose. And even when you completely undo that, uh, there's still not that much movement. You can, of course, move it. You need to move it, but it's not um, really loose like some car mounts. And then, of course, what happens is you've got the lug here, which goes into the back of the holder. So let's pop that in, like so. That's really secure. You can see I'm giving that a good shake and it's not going anywhere. And then to release, you have to press this little lever here, 
and then we slide it out like so. And it won't release unless you press that. It's not going anywhere, so I need to press that and then it will come out. So that is the CAT official vehicle holder, although it's applicable for any device that fits within the clamp arms. Thanks for watching.